Hospitals in Canada are burning through masks, gowns, and gloves in the fight against COVID-19, and there are fears of shortages. The novel coronavirus pandemic has taken a toll on those who are most needed to combat it. The doctors, nurses, and other frontline workers at hospitals and clinics. And now, medical professionals across the country are sounding the alarm. They need more protective equipment. You can't have doctors, nurses, respiratory therapists, uh, orderlies, any cleaning staff. Like, you can't have us going out there and us getting sick and dying because it means there's no one left to take care of you. COVID-19 is a respiratory virus which spreads primarily through droplets generated when an infected person coughs or sneezes. Canadian guidelines suggest healthcare staff testing patients for suspected COVID-19 or working directly with infected patients need the following. A surgical mask, gloves, eye protection such as goggles or even better, a face shield, and a gown designed to repel fluids. Only certain frontline medical staff are required to upgrade to an N95 mask, which provides workers better protection. These masks are especially needed when performing procedures that may cause virus particles to remain suspended in the air, such as intubation. But some healthcare workers say the guidelines in Canada don't go far enough, and many are anxious about what they consider to be a lack of protection. If I'm infected and I see 20 patients a day, then I'm giving you the virus and then you're going to go home and spread it to all of your contacts and that's how we get that exponential spread and i would be spreading it to the sickest people because they're the ones who are coming to the hospital dr ewan innes is an emergency physician at the glengarry memorial hospital in alexandria ontario she says she's been forced to ration her masks to two a day ideally workers change masks between each patient which means on an average shift they can go through 20 masks or more. There are some politicians who are saying there is no shortage. But I can tell you that for those of us on the ground, we see a shortage. Dr. Yuan Innes started an online petition calling on the government to launch a warlike effort to acquire and manufacture protective equipment using whatever means possible. Because China is the largest supplier of personal protective equipment in the world, the global supply took a big hit when the country shut down its factories when the outbreak began. In Italy, at least 60 doctors have died of COVID-19, and more than 8,000 health workers have tested positive for the new coronavirus. And in New York, medical staff are reporting dangerous shortages of supplies needed to contain the virus. With Canada yet to reach its peak, medical staff are worried with what's to come. We're getting mixed messages. So sometimes we're hearing that, you know, the province is going to be okay. We have enough protective equipment for everyone. Um, and then other times we're hearing, you know, we definitely have to be careful with our supply. You know, things are going to get much worse in the next few weeks. And we want to make sure that we have appropriate supply for when that really happens. On March 31st, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announced that the government will spend $2 billion to buy personal protective equipment and medical equipment, including masks, testing kits, gowns and ventilators. We recognize that more is needed and everyone is working day and night to receive essential supplies. This isn't just a problem Canada is facing. Countries around the world are scrambling to get their hand on equipment to protect frontline healthcare workers. Medical experts say at the end of the day, the best thing we can do is stay at home and keep up with physical distancing. If you guys can keep your distance from each other and stay home as much as possible and wash your hands with soap and water when you do go out, then there won't be so many cases and we won't need to use so much PPE and it will prevent a lot of problems. So flattening the curve is a real thing so please, when we say stay home, you'll save a life, we mean that. Thanks for watching. To stay up to date on the latest breaking national and international news, be sure to subscribe to our channel.